so far is not a winner. Smart Alec thinks he's adorable. It's what happens when you have two sisters. They tend to sort of dote on you. And he's the only boy, and his father thinks that he walks on water and all of those other oh good gosh. things. But he's really, so far, hasn't demonstrated that he has any merchandise at all. Do you understand? <gasps> yes. All he does is use a lot of gel in his hair. <laughs> Got mixed up with his brain. Oh my god. Okay, she was just showing no mercy to this man and... <laughs> I'm just happy that it said ex-girlfriend on the girl's little description because I was confused. I'm like, is she dating this guy? Because Judge Judy is giving her a bunch of reasons why she shouldn't be, but it was his ex-girlfriend. So that probably just like pumped her ego. Like imagine going on Judge Judy and having Judge Judy ream apart your ex. Sign me up. So of the more than a dozen arrests you had, none involved Drugs, Doesn't. none involved alcohol, none involved theft, none involved trespass, all involved assault. Is that a yes or a no? That's a no. What else do they involve other than assault? I'm just talking about this case, Your Honor. I'm talking, okay. about, I'm talking about who the I'm party... I'm going to talk about this case at hand. If you don't want to discuss this case, then we can just dismiss it. Great, then I'm dismissing it. Thank you very much. All right, We're thank done. you. You have a good day. Oh! I have never seen someone just so casually offer to dismiss the case. Like, Judge Judy didn't even have to dismiss it on her own terms. She wasn't even, like, in this whole heated thing where she's like, okay, fine, I'm gonna take it from you. He literally handed it to her. Take it. Let's just dismiss it. Let's not waste anyone's time. I bet it was because we were gonna find out some major tea in his 12 different arrests that he had. <sighs> a dozen. Y'all, the only dozen that's ever in my life is a dozen donuts. Watching TV, this stupid you were show. watching TV home. Yeah, I was watching this stupid show called Judge Judy. <gasps> Listen to me. Shut your mouth unless I ask you a question. Do we understand? Okay. Great. Did you finally walk outside Idiot. to get the dog? No. Look at me. I went outside and the dog. Just, just, just a second. The answer is either yes or no. Did you finally yes. go outside to get yes. the dog? Yes. Great. Now, can I see pictures of the dog? I, I cannot believe he said that. What an idiot. Oh, it like irks me. Okay, funny joke, yeah. I was watching this stupid show called Judge Judy. Meanwhile, you literally signed up to be on her show, bro. So it's not that stupid. Everyone knows how this show works. Literally Google it for two seconds. You don't just walk into a courtroom and be like, oh my God, we're on Judge Judy. No, you sign like a release form. They set you up with accommodations. Give me a break, sir. The show can't be that stupid if you chose willingly to be on it. I'm sorry, but this is, what? This is wrong. Miss Perdue, let, Ms. Perdue <laughs> let me tell you what my problem with you is. My oh. problem is with you is you're a lousy daughter. Because oh, I hold just, up, Your because, Honor, no, I'm sorry. Because I just, sorry, Your Honor, just, no. I just, this woman abandoned me when I was three years old. She didn't come back in my life until I was 48 years old. She come back telling me she was doing all this. She wanted to be with my kids and my and her grand, great grandkids. Oh, this is so and bad. you turn hey, around and do Ms. this. Miss Purdue, I gave you an option to clean up this whole case and to make your mother, who is clearly made you financially more comfortable. Your mother's not gonna live forever, shorter rather than longer. Oh my gosh. Oh, I just felt uncomfortable. Cause this one's like really personal. You know, she's coming at her as a daughter, but then she's like, yo, you don't even know what my life was like with my mother. But then she's like, oh, but your mom's not gonna live for much longer. <gasps> you can't use the death card, Judge Judy. Oh no. Oh, anyone will feel guilt from that. What was the name of the person that you were oh, going to help to move that the, night? The, Bob what? I'm a... Uh, Bob what? Get I'm, on your phone and give me the number. Get okay. on your phone and give me this Bob's number. Because I'm going to call Bob. And you know what I don't like? What's that? I don't like to get up from this bench. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I have a feeling Bob doesn't exist? I feel like he made up this Bob guy and then she called him out and he didn't know a last name. He didn't know like any information. So she's like, well, pull him up. I'll give him a call. And he was just like, uh, uh, panicked, panicked. She called your bluff. You had a little poker face going and she called your bluff and you got caught. Cause Bob doesn't exist. Let's be real, vote in the comments if you think Bob exists. I think that was just a made up name. Bob, it's easy. How old are you? 21. 
And how old are you? I am 23, Your Honor. Okay. Uh, too young and too stupid to make a baby. And then you think, Miss Roseberry, that life is going to give you a 50-50 proposition? It's not going to give you a 50-50 proposition. Get that out of your head or you will be constantly disappointed. Take that from an older person, very older person. Well, you know, she said it, not us. <laughs> I'm assuming this is about like a custody case because she's talking about how they're young parents and the mom's probably wanting like a 50-50 thing. Or I don't know. Maybe she's not wanting a 50. I don't know. What does she want? No, she's not wanting a 50-50. She's probably wanting like a 90-10 situation or full custody or something like that. And we know, if you've watched my other six parts, Judge Judy does not see parents as more than 50-50. Like, it's equal. It's always equal. She stands by it. She's very firm. If you want the whole 50-50 thing, you are in the wrong place. I'm done. You're gone. Goodbye. You take your case back to the small claims court where it came from. Do you understand? Seriously? No, not seriously. Oh. Super seriously. Oh, oh, what do you do? What is going on? First of all, I got to just point out his tie. That tie, super goofy to wear to a courtroom. I like it. Maybe just not the vibe, but I really want to know what he did to get her to the point where she's literally like, goodbye. Bird, take a look at this. You see anything? Any dog dragging a chain? Not that I can tell. But my eyesight ain't what it used to be. Well, you want to try my glasses? <laughs> <laughs> what? Not that I noticed. Can you see better with my glasses? A lot better. These are nice. <laughs> Maybe I'll get you there. <laughs> oh my God, uh, Judge Judy. If I didn't know better, I would say she's a little flirty. It just goes to show that this is just her. I feel like she's sassy even with him. Like she's playing off a little bit, but like she has some serious sass to her. Like if you don't get her humor and stuff, you might be like, ew, why are you being so like rude and sassy towards me? Although, <sighs> came out a little bit flirty. That's not what I've been told, but well, if you've gotten different advice, you were mistaken. Okay. In this country, fathers are not second class citizens. I know there are a lot of people out there, including judges and probation officers who still don't get that message, but fathers are not second class citizens. Sometimes they're actually better parents. Not always. Sometimes it's 50 50, but it's on a case by case basis. But anybody that says to me, can't take my daughter with him, it's not yours. It's both of yours. You made her together. I feel like I just spoke about this. That is so weird. I literally just said she's very much about equal parenting, but of course it is a case-to-case -case thing because obviously if one parent is literally doing everything and the other parent's not really existent in the child's life, of course it is situational. You know what I'm saying? Is that even a word? Situational? That's not a word. Is it? I don't freaking know. I mean, she makes a good point. I could not create this child on my own. It's a 50-50 thing. What time did you get there? Um, I wasn't able to actually make it. Right. Oh, no. Because? Due to an incident that we had got into in the freeway. And you moved the event someplace else? Yes. Is that correct? It is. Indoors? Indoors. And you did that very quickly yes. on January 22nd. Yes. And she wants her money back. So I did credit her account mm -hmm. back for what she had paid for. Okay. You so did. we do have a store credit, which basically. No, 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 no store credit. <laughs> she didn't give you wampum. She gave you cash money. She don't want a credit. <laughs> she wants her money back. Got it? Correct. Great. Oh my God. <laughs> Honestly, I wish I could have Judge Judy in some of my return cases because anyone else hates store credit sometimes. You know, sometimes what I'm looking for just isn't at the store. And what I bought just didn't work out and I want a refund. I don't want store freaking credit. I wish Judge Judy could just fit in my wallet and I could take her when I go to return some things. If someone took your car and then you, you see them a block away from your oh home God. and you say, what are you, are you asking doing? me? <laughs> Are you asking me what I would do? What I say I was, to my husband? The police. Jump in the car. We're gonna go confront this thief. Yeah. Would I say that? Oh, nah, not not on a good day. Not if I took my meds. Judge <laughs> 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 she is just exposing herself. <laughs> That was the best 
line ever. I'm on part six of this series and I think that is the most iconic phrase she has ever said. I love her. I love her. Well, that is what you get for being a smart aleck and asking Judge Judy what she would do. There you go. Her husband is a lucky man. There's a hair in my face. Hola. I see it. Well, you guys, this is part six of Judge Judy shaming people. You know the drill. If you want part seven, you better leave a like and tell me in the comments or else I'm not doing it. I'm just kidding. I might. Anyways, maybe. But you have to subscribe to see part seven. So do that also. I'm out of here, though. I will see you guys in another video. Bye. Losing time, I'm fading fast I just wanna make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes, embrace the blast Sleepless nights and headaches stack Restlessness to hell and back What's my purpose with the